All right, let's talk about Will Anderson Jr., the third overall selection by the Houston Texans. And you know, the number two overall selection getting all the attention, right? CJ Stroud's been awesome, kind of underrated. Uh, Will Anderson Jr. has also been awesome. Like if you look at his pro football focus grades, he is 18th best in football at the edge rusher position. This is better than what Aiden Hutchinson was last year, and you know how I've raved about him. Uh, you know, Will Anderson is playing at a higher level according to PFF grades, and it's not like he's only being a good run defender or a good pass rusher. He's top 23 in both of those categories. Uh, you know, actually slightly better grade as pass rush, but uh, ranks higher among eligible players in run defense. Just run defense this year is a little bit lower than pass rush grade this year, interestingly enough. If you look at his week-by-week -week pro football focus grades, you notice that while he hasn't like been super dominant every single week, he's had two really dominant weeks and consistency throughout, which is honestly usually how edge rushers that aren't like Miles Garrett or TJ Watt tend to go, is you have a lot of consistent weeks and then the occasional really good week or not so good week. So he didn't play last week, they had a bye, but let's watch some film from week six against the New Orleans Saints and talk about what he was able to do so effectively well. Like first, starting off with this play, so we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one matchup against New Orleans' right tackle on this play. This is Ryan Ramchek, who is really good. I mean, you know, uh, a great offensive lineman. This is someone who's been in the league for a while and been usually consistently one of the better tackles in the league. So this is not some scrub that you're going up against. This is a really good player that he, Will Anderson is going to go up against. And watch what he's going to do. Right when this play begins, I think the thing I like about Anderson the most is it seems like he just has really good awareness of the field. He has really good awareness of what's going on and what the situation calls for. Um, you see how Ramchek's uh, hips are very much turned towards the top of the screen. So while this is going to be a play action, really Anderson knows right away this is not a running play. This is going to be a passing play due to how Ramchek is blocking, which is, you know, uh, a thing you see, you hear a lot of defensive linemen say is that a lot of fakes can work really well, but the easiest way to tell if it's a fake or not is how people are blocking. I do think Anderson sees how Ramchek is blocking, and not just in terms of pass blocking, but also, like I said, hips are turned towards the top of the screen, so Anderson is going to realize, well, that I probably shouldn't run in that direction, right? If Anderson goes how you typically would expect him, more towards the outside, well then Ramchek can stay with him. But there is a little bit of an opening for an inside move. Now, there's obviously a risk in an inside move, right? You could give up containment that could allow the quarterback to get outside the pocket. So if you're going to pull off this move, you want to do it quickly. But watch how he you know, gets by almost immediately. Ramchek wasn't able to get a hand placement on him. And Will Anderson's able to get over and get that quarterback pressure and you know, quarterback hit. Uh, credit to Carr, still was able to complete the pass, but you still are disrupting plays. And again, you do this enough times, there will be moments when Carr can't get rid of the pass and you get sacks, or maybe he tries to get rid of the pass when he shouldn't and you get turnovers, right? Uh, that's kind of what you hope to see happen. And the consistency in which Anderson is winning is truly impressive. And even plays like this, where one thing I like too is, how do you look when you're not winning? What are you doing when things aren't going perfectly well? Well, this one, it's again, one-on-one -on -one against Ramchek, and watch what's going to happen. So, Carr takes the snap. You see right here, Anderson is getting ready to just bull rush Ramchek. That's all he's going to do. So, okay, how well is this going to work? Again, Ramchek's a good offensive lineman. He's not someone you can just push around. And as you see, Will Anderson just pushes him around. I mean, he just drives him back. You know, Carr was able to get rid of the football quickly, so again, wasn't able to get a pressure, get a quarterback hit, get a sack, any of that good stuff on this play. You know, Carr, I think, does do a pretty good job at getting the ball out of his hands when he can, so that definitely maybe didn't help out Anderson on the stat sheet as much. Anderson currently just has one sack on the year, but like, trust me, the underlying statistics are really good and the tape is really good. Sacks just don't tell the full story. There's a ton of luck that goes into it. Uh, he could easily have, you know, seven sacks this year. It just sometimes it comes down to how the rest, you know, when you have a sack worthy play, does the rest of the play allow you to be able to get that sack? Like, this one's another one where it's going to be a third down and two, and they've done this with Anderson, which is interesting. We're seeing this more and more where, you know, it used to kind of always be, if you're an edge rusher, you play as an edge rusher, that's that, but we're seeing more and more teams will have their edge rushers move to the inside on third downs. This is a third down and two, so in theory, it could still be a run, but, you know, 
probably going to be a pass. They're banking on it being a passing play. So, hey, let's have, you know, let's get an extra pass rusher in on this play or a guy who specializes in the pass rush, move him to the inside. Going to be working one on one against a guard here instead of a uh, tackle. And while typically you might think in this situation you should use your speed or footwork to try and win. Watch how Anderson is going to use his power, and he succeeds at it. He does eventually, you know, make contact with Carr. Do have to be careful because that was late contact, but it wasn't significant enough to warrant the flag. But again, we've seen some rough roughing the passer penalties called, so you do have to be careful there. But it goes to show the the ability that he has and just the natural talent he has. To me, that's been the thing I've been most pleasantly surprised about with Will Anderson is the 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 strength that he has. You know, I think that some people like someone like Tyree Wilson or a couple other edge rushers more due to the uh, athleticism that some of these guys have. But I mean, I've been blown away by his athleticism and his athleticism was good in college and he's also young. He's 22 years old. So it makes sense that he's going to continue to get stronger at the end of the day draft the edge rusher with the production, right? That typically is what's going to result in an edge rusher that gets production at the NFL level. And Will Anderson Jr. so far is doing that. Even a play like this, which I'm going to be honest, this is a, a hype video type play. This is one you put in the hype video, but maybe not necessarily one you take too much uh, away from because you have the offensive line blocking towards the offense's right. Will Anderson Jr. is going to be unblocked. But the way to play it is going to work is, you know, Kamara is going to try and run up the middle. As you see, it's a little bit slow by the Saints, but look at Henderson run in and just completely take him down. Is that a lucky situation to, to be in that spot and to get that opportunity? Of course. But you know what? Hey, he's been unlucky with his sack total so far, so let me show some plays where he got a little lucky with this situation. You still have to go out and make the play, right? You still have to find a way to make stuff happen, and that's what he did. So, yeah, I've been very impressed with Will Anderson Jr. Uh, I do think he's been incredible. I mean, if we're talking about Defensive Rookie of the Year winners, it's tough. It's such a crowded field. I think Jalen Carter is having like one of the better interior defensive linemen and rookie seasons we've ever seen. So tough competition there. You know, guys like uh, Devin Witherspoon, Brian Branch uh, have also been really good. But, you know, Will Anderson is certainly in the mix. And I don't think it's crazy to think that he could end up as the uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year this season. Like that's that's in the cards. It really is. But even if he's not, at the end of the day, who cares about if you win the award or not? Texans are trying to win football games, and Moy Anderson Jr. doing a great job at helping them do that. So, you know, really good stuff from him so far. Yeah, that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.